Yeah, you're bad. It's me time. <laughs> Is that fish? Morning everybody. It's about 10 15. We just had breakfast cleaning up here. We're about to go to the fly shop. See what's going on. We got a lot of rain last night, so we're hoping the creeks aren't blown out. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> praying that they're not blown out. You know, if they are, we may hit some little feeder streams. We're going to check out the Fly Fishing Museum, um, see what that's all about. So, yeah, so hopefully we get into some good fish today. All right, so we just went to the fly shop, and we were told that all the other creeks are blown out, which they are. Um, we just got a bunch of rain, so we're up at uh, Russell Brook right now, hoping to get in some little natives. Um, so let's start nipping, maybe throw some dries, see what happens. Trying to do the best we can to get some fish on. So. Beaver kill looks like the Niagara. Yeah, the beaver kill looks like the Niagara. The West Branch is completely blown out. Everything's muddy, so we're hoping tomorrow that we can get into some uh, bigger rivers and whatnot. But we're gonna try it, see what happens. Yeah, not great, but definitely doable. Yeah, you see the fish, barely.
Okay, same thing. A little bit. That's nicer. That's a nicer fish. That was awesome. I think they're more dangerous just because I don't fucking see things if I don't eat them. They might be not even more dangerous. Yep, you caught me. You guys want to put me in jail. <laughs> now you know how. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's about 8.30. Just got up, made breakfast, tying some flies for today. I think we're going to head over to the Willowemic. The water finally came down. Hit there for a little bit, maybe check out the Fly Fishing Museum today, and then maybe head over to the Beaver Kill, eat a quick dinner, and then we're going to fish the Beaver Kill at night, see if we can pull out some big fish. Rain's supposed to hold off, so we're hoping we're going to have a good day, and maybe tomorrow the fishing will be even better than today, so right on. Alright guys, so this morning we're tying a sexy waltz worm. I'm using a size 14 upside down scene from True to Goods and a size 2.8 tungsten bead from also True to Goods. Um, this fly was killer yesterday on the small mountain streams. We're hoping that they do good on the bigger streams today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put about 8 wraps of lead on my hook, get it down deep. I'll take a size 6 orange uni thread. Tying in at the back, make a little base at the back, tie it up, cinch that lead down, make a little body, think of that, and I'll take a, uh, it's called pearl tinsel, it's a medium size, it's a little big for this pattern, but I like it, it really brings out a sparkle in the fly. Tie that in all the way up. Tie it at the back. Then I'll take some Hair's Ear Plus Dumbing Natural. It's got a little flash in it. Some of that out. Put it on. You don't have to put a lot on. Just enough to make a body. And just start lighting the back and then work your way up. Fluff it out a little bit. And then take your pearl tinsel. Do about you know, four wraps. Tie your tinsel in. Three. And then you want to make a, a head at the front with this orange. It gives it a little, little flash to it, a little attraction, and whip finish. Real simple, but it's a killer pattern. It works really well. Okay, we're getting real out of the thing. Really? It couldn't be less close at all. I'm missing this. What? Ah, I wonder how. I'm gonna have to light this video off. He stepped into the dark spot pretty good. You watch, he's gonna try to hold it up and buy it. Oh yeah, dude, that'll, uh, that'll work on it. Alright, I'm gonna 
All right, so we're on the Beaverkill River right now, and uh, we had some luck earlier. Couldn't get the uh, video going, but uh, we just hooked into a nice, beautiful wild brown here on a white streamer. You still got him. <laughs> How we doing, baby? <laughs> hey. You tell me you got that on video. I got you in like the corner. Go ahead. Ready? Yep. Good brownie on the beaver kill. Is he still on? Jake's on one right now that's taking him for a ride downstream. Let's see if we can get him in the net here. Come on, focus. Boom. Fish in the net. Comes back happy. What a ride from down here to all the way up where he hooked it. Up in there, right there. Right down to Woo. boom. Right there. Bigger than we thought. Yeah, it is. That's a nice rainbow. Didn't he? Ooh, yeah, that's nice. If you can get him up somehow. Watch your hand. 
Don't don't grab my line. Do not grab my line. stretch of water right here, this real deep fast water. Pulled this baby out. Nice. Bar of gold. Mega. Morning everybody. It's about 11 o'clock. We just cleaned up camp. We're gonna head down to uh, Roscoe. We're gonna check out the fly fishing museum. Then we're gonna fish the Willowemic. Um, we had a great day of fishing yesterday on the beaver kill. We caught a lot of fish, a lot of nice fish. And uh, after we uh, fish the willow we make, we're going to head down to the pine, see if we can get some big browns down there, maybe even hit slight run. So hopefully have a good day. This is crazy. So I'm tired of pull out of this. Calf tail? Take a picture of the first president. <laughs> 